Well, I must say, I hope we're feasting on terrific football here in Spain's gastronomic capital, San Sebastián. We're at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Sociedad facing Getafe. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. Oya Dabal plays with Adnan Yanuzai in the wide areas. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. The initial 11 then for Hetafe. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing-backs will push further forward to make it a And the game begins. I must say, this looks promising. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Diego Rico. Mikel Marino. And that puts them in position. Isaac. Regain possession. Oh, you can't drop your guard even for a fleeting moment when you're up against Oya Thabal. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him today? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides a high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted, and well, that's the result. Rafinha on to Silva Mikel Marino really good challenge might be able to set up the chance Isaac. And in possession, Yanazai. Here's Isaac. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. just a bit too much height on it well when he struck that he must have thought that was going in it's only a whisker away Nemanja Maximovic Alenia 
Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, they have the ball once more. Oyar Sabal. On to Silva. Rafinha. Now can they make something happen? Space and time for the cross. Silva. Can he give them the lead? Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Possession one. Silva. In position. And thumped away. Take it away. Could be troublesome. Chance to finish. Couldn't grab hold of it. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Standing at 1 0. Into the advanced position. Oh, a nice looking pass. Now, there could be a dismissal here. Well, just a yellow card, and you can see what they think of that decision, Stuart. Well, did he stop a goal scoring opportunity? I'm with the referee. I'm not sure it was clear cut. But the keeper able to turn it away. A stunning stop. And over it comes. Alenia. Now closed down straight away. Silva. Well, no surprise there. Real Sociedad have had more of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. And a throw in it's going to be. Will he play it in? Silva. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment.
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Tammy and Suarez an effective challenge David Silva here's Isaac Mikel Marino moving the ball forward with purpose and a goal to square the game into the seat stuff Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Unal. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Stefan Mitrovic. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Mauro Arambari. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Oh, the threat is there. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammates. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Big opportunity. Well, hit with power and almost the right precision. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Attending to his defensive chores. On and on he goes. But quick thinking defensively. Space on the flank. Damian Suarez. And a chance to whip it in here. Simple for the keeper. Rafinha. Isaac. It's opening up for them. Cuts it back. Can they keep it out? Foiling his opponent completely. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Can they nudge in front late on here? Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here.
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Rafinha. Silva. Real chance. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Fractionally offside. elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game Oyar Sabal Isaac This could finish it Ball is loose. Well, the keeper dealt with the danger. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It was so competitive for much of the game. But they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, quite rightly, our cameras are affixed to Porto. Another fine performance from him, Stuart. What did you make of it? Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.